Hey there, you filthy animals, Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of the GTM Show, back with another bag of Burr's potato chips. Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at uh, flavor from their kettle cook line of potato chips. We have the cheese horseradish flavor here. Alright, so there's your cheese block. There's a little bucket of something. I have no idea what the hell that's supposed to be. I guess it's... Uh, supposed to be horseradish, but I'm pretty sure if they were going to go balls out, there would have been a picture of some sort of a root. But they've gone by the way of the horseradish that you would find, say, jarred in your refrigerated section. That's what they're going for there. And uh, there's a picture of the Hearst potato chips that supposedly we're going to get in this bag. Alright, you know how this goes. There's your nutrition facts for those that need to know. Pause the screen, chug along, read it. There's your list of ingredients. Bam! There's your contact information if you want to talk to those guys or anything like that. Up here there is a little thing to read. I'm not going to read that because I don't care about that stuff. It's usually the same every bag anyhow. There's their product guarantee. We're not going to be playing around with that either. Right off the bat I don't smell any kind of cheese. I don't smell any kind of horseradish. I just smell cheap ass grease. There's your first look inside the bag, that's what you get. Got some uh, brightly orange colored chips inside there and some not so much. Alright, for those of you that have never seen an episode of the GTM show where we've showcased uh, Hearst potato chips, that's what a Hearst potato chip looks like outside of the bag. They do leave the skins on, it appears, on most of these that we've seen, especially the kettle cooked chips. Uh, don't think I've ever seen kettle cooked chips that don't leave the peels on. Okay, still not smelling anything outside of cheap oil, cheap grease, cheap fry. Okay, I still don't, there's no cheese scent on these. There's no horseradish scent per se on these. Go ahead and hit up this one, and hopefully this will give me the maximum experience of the flavor that I should be getting. Here we go. Oh yeah. As soon as you put it in your mouth and it hits your palate, top of your tongue, roof of your mouth, the horseradish just grabs a hold. Um, you get a burn across your tongue, your sinuses start to tingle. That's a good sign. But as I have just now finished that chip, the horseradish burn and that tingle is already gone. The horseradish was extremely strong. To where you almost didn't taste the cheese. If you weren't paying attention, you might not have even tasted the cheese. It would have just gone from horseradish to potato to cheap oil again. I'm gonna hit up a second one just to see if that's the effect that we're gonna get off of most of these. Yeah, that horseradish comes on strong and then it quickly disappears. It's almost like getting hit with wasabi. That quick wasabi flavor. If anybody's never had horseradish but you have had wasabi, the two taste almost exact. Alright, I've had four or five of these so far, and there's no cheese flavor whatsoever on these. It's just straight horseradish, like we saw with the regular HERS horseradish flavored potato chips that we had way back in the day. It's like a year ago we had those. These have the same horseradish flavor, same cheap grease flavor, but no cheese whatsoever on these at all. I mean, I would go as far as to say you could eat that entire bag, chip after chip after chip, and after popping the last one in your mouth, just at that pace you would still only have like a burn on your tongue for maybe about 10 seconds after you pop the last chip in your mouth after eating them repeatedly and still nothing you have that tingle in your sinuses are these now if you did eat a handful of these you could probably clear your sinuses really quick since the uh, the horseradish is that strong when it first comes on definitely you might get a runny nose or something after popping like a handful of these in your mouth and munching them all at once but other than that, it just doesn't have the long-lasting zinc. This is just another good attempt from hers on some sort of flavor of potato chip. They're seeming very desperate nowadays with these flavors that they've been coming out with. I mean, sloppy Joe, really? So I'm going to give these a 2 out of 5. Because they're still edible. They're just not great. They're not even average. Like half the we've been seeing from them as far as potato chips. Not even reaching the average mark. Four out of five, five out of five for the cheese doodles, but the potato chips are just drastic failure almost every single time. The only one that's really been on point was the sweet corn flavor. And even that, you couldn't eat those for very long before you just got sick of that flavor. 
because it wasn't actual corn. It was still a potato chip. Yeah, there you have it. The hers kettle cooked potato chips, the cheddar horseradish flavor. Go out and try them if you want. I'm never going to buy them again personally. So until next time, I'm Mr. Dirty. This is the GTM Show. Don't forget to click subscribe, thumbs up, share, plus one, all that crap. And as always, have a rotten day.